This is the Nana Cherry Raw Like Sushi 30th anniversary. As you can see, they've redone the sleeve in gold instead of white, which looks pretty good. Glad I wasn't the designer that had to uh, sort out around the hair. It's pretty straightforward this, it's uh, three CDs, there is a three LP version. Uh, they've chosen to do it large format, which to me never makes any sense, but I, I suppose they do it because it justifies charging a bit more. I mean, this was £45, probably still is that sort of price, which is incredibly expensive for a three CD set. Part of the way they can justify is this is making it big. So there you go. I mean, there are some quite nice design touches here. The fact that they've overprinted the CD housings with the image is quite a nice touch. If we look at the CDs first of all, let's have a look at them. So disc one is the album, as you'd expect. Quite nice printed images on the actual CDs themselves. And then discs two and three, it's just loads of remixes really. Um, multiple versions of Buffalo Stance. Uh, man child um, that's basically it for this disc same kind of design and then the third disc is more remixes again this time kisses on the wind inner city mama etc and for some reason the cd doesn't have buffalo blues the b one of the b-sides in the cd set it is in the vinyl set and i've got no idea why but it's a bit weird so they're the three CDs. And the other element to this is this soft back book, which isn't much more than a glorified lyric book done big, 12 inch by 12 inch. I mean, this is like a CD booklet just enlarged. Very stylish, lots of great photos, but ultimately feels a bit kind of what's the point. The problem with this is this is a retrospective box set this is looking back at the album and this booklet with the lyrics and the images it's kind of presenting it almost like it's a new record and it's it's not a new record it's a 30 year old record i mean the design looks great it's, it's stylish but is this actually what we want there's only one bit at the back where there's a, a, a sort of shortish interview with nana cherry um here we go so it's kind of okay but this big booklet and those three CDs, you know, 45 pounds. It's just, you compare that to the Howard Jones reissue, which was three CDs and a, and a DVD in a small digi pack. And that was, you know, 25 quid or something. So seems rather overpriced for what you're getting. And the actual, this, this folder thing that, that everything's kept in isn't particularly sturdy. It's not like it's a hard cover book. So that feels, despite the gold and the design, it, it's a little bit budget. So I'd say this is one where you want to wait for it to come down in price. I know Fnac in France has had a bit of a misprice and lots of people took advantage of that. Uh, Amazon have recently had the 3LP version for 17.99 for about three hours which is obviously an amazing deal. So I think there will be deals and opportunities with this set and that's probably the best advice, wait for that. It's, it's a brilliant record, there's no doubt about it. But, and the reissue is packed, this reissue is packed with remixes, which is also great. But in terms of the price and the actual overall presentation, that's basically where it's lacking. So this is Paul from Super Deluxe Edition taking a look at the reissue of Nana Cherry's Raw Like Sushi. Mm -hmm. 